Those are the cutest puppies. Yeah, I mean, not many people have them anymore. Yeah. All right, well, thank, thank you for um, uh, allowing me to use your, you know, your first name, at least Chuck, um, on this uh, call that I'm doing uh, for one of my YouTube channels. Well, actually, my only YouTube channel. Uh, well, hold on one second. I'm talking with Chuck right now. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lava. I'm uh, talking with Chuck right now, who has an interesting question. He's, uh, he's on one of my complimentary calls that I offer, and the link, uh, there's a link below this video. Uh, for you to schedule one if you want. Anyway, um, uh, Chuck has a question, and the question goes like this. When I look at a franchise, or when I look at franchises, how important is the brand? Great question. Uh, the brand is pretty important. As a matter of fact, a lot of people buy franchises because of brand recognition, you know, that brand name. Um, can you, let me ask you this, many years ago there was a huge franchise operation, and they're actually still around, um, and, it, and even today it is considered one of the top brands in the world. Um, and I'll give you a hint, it's not a food franchise. Can you name it? All right, let me give you another hint. Uh, it's kind of old school. Uh, 30, 40 years ago it was pretty big. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. Amco. Amco. Transmissions, that's right. Uh, years ago, back in the day, uh, transmissions used to like break <laughs> a lot in, in automobiles and in trucks. And Amco Transmission uh, was like the biggest name. Um, they had a, a kind of a cute jingle with a horn. Uh, you should Google that. It's a pretty good jingle. And actually, some of their old commercials are pretty cool, but they're still around. Uh, and I guarantee you, once Amco became a dominant brand in the automotive space, a lot of people were attracted to it, and a lot of people uh, uh, requested information. I'll give you another one. Starbucks. Starbucks is a massive brand, right? Um, they only franchised their, their coffee shops for a very short time. Um, one of the most popular, uh, most visited pages on this website is how to buy a Starbucks, how to buy a Starbucks franchise. Uh, people still think that Starbucks is franchising, and what a great idea, right? Um, boy, I'd be, it would be cool to own a nice uh, coffee shop that's as busy as Starbucks and sell coffee drinks for four fifty a pop. Yeah, profit, right? So, so a, a brand um, is very important, and it's also a pretty dominant reason why people look at franchises to begin with. However, sometimes brands go bad especially in this crazy 24-7 social media world that we all live in, where, uh, where everyone is connected all the time. Um, there have been some situations in the past five, 10 years where major brands, I'm talking franchise brands, have uh, had either huge lawsuits or someone served some jail time. Uh, I can think of the Subway franchise spokesperson who actually turned out to be, I believe he was a, an accused pedophile. Uh, that didn't go very well. Just ask the Subway franchisees. Um, I'm sure that there was a lot of hate mail, uh, maybe a little graffiti here and there, maybe some demonstrations at headquarters, pretty bad stuff. So while a brand is important, it can also hurt you a little bit if something goes bad. I'm talking about stuff you don't have control. Like if you own 10 Subway franchises in Dubuque, Iowa, for instance, Hi, Rush. Uh, Rush and I get the uh, franchise attorney that watches my videos occasionally. I refer folks to him, but um, Dubuque, Iowa, since he lives in Iowa, I had to use that one. Um, let's say you own 10 subway franchises in Dubuque, Iowa, and this, this thing happened with this crazy pedophile who was the spokesperson for, um, you know, losing weight by eating subway. I forgot the guy's name, and that's probably a good thing, speaking of branding. Uh, bad brand. Uh, yeah, so you're in Dubuque and you have 10 Subway franchises and they're all, you know, like 8 out of 10 of them are rocking and rolling, you're doing real good, making some money, and then this thing happens and it's a global news story. It's all over Twitter and Facebook and the brand gets damaged and uh, maybe uh, your employees are getting some nasty phone calls. I mean, it happens. People go nuts over this stuff. Um, how do you get out of that? You know, how do you get the reputation back up that you have for your own stores? Well, 
The good news is if it's a franchise organization that's been pretty established, they have a crisis management team, um, usually including PR, public relations, and, and eventually they can turn things around a bit. Like for example, I haven't heard anything about this dude that's in jail from Subway for a couple of years now. You know, uh, maybe since I brought it up, we will again. Hopefully not. Um, but you know, it hurt the brand. But it kind of blew over. Uh, so I just want you to think about that. If you're buying a franchise that has a strong brand, know that it can be mostly good. But you know, there's that small percentage when stuff happens. Uh, that is not of your doing, um, that your own income, your livelihood can be affected. So be careful. Um, finally, I want to tell you that buying a franchise that has a powerful brand can be a good thing because it's instant name recognition. You don't have to like explain to your local community what it is the business does. They know already because it's a brand. You just have to do a really good job and represent it carefully. And that's also on the franchisor's side, Chuck. The franchisor has to make sure that they pick really good quality ethical franchisees to carry on the brand name in a positive way. So it's a two-way street. So is branding important? Yep. Should you buy a franchise just because of the brand? Nope. But it sure does help if it's a good brand. And just remember, you don't have control over that brand. You have control over your own your own business and how you do business. Well, I hope that helped, Chuck. Thank you, and hey, thank you for for uh, allowing this call to go on um, on YouTube. I appreciate it, and good luck. Let me know if you want to uh, um, sign for any of my uh, packages, consultations, etc. Be happy to. And you know, read the stuff on the Franchise King blog. There's a lot of goodies, a lot of stuff on Subway too. All right, bye, Chuck. You know, it's a great question. Branding is so important. And I would say that a solid 60 to 70% of the people that I've talked to during the last 20 years of doing this have told me, you know, one of the reasons I want to buy a franchise, Joel, is because of the brand. So it's, it's top of mind. But just realize a brand could be really good, but sometimes stuff happens and you can't control it. So do some research on the brand. Google, Yahoo, Bing, they're amazing tools. Do a search. Do a deep, deep search on the brand and see what's out there. I'm the franchising Joel Ababa. If you want to schedule a complimentary phone call with me, there's a link right below to do that, right below this video. And thank you for watching, and make sure you visit thefranchiseking.com.